picture is worth a thousand words. But a picture, a picture is worth maybe, maybe $40 million. You know, but, but, a, but a picture of a picture, what's that worth? Or what, what about a, a coaching picture? What's a coaching picture? worth or a pitcher coach worth or, or a or a picture of a coach coaching a <laughs> there's three things three things that a great coach does really three pictures that a great coach helps make increasingly clear when i was 18 years old i was a a freshman in college and I was playing college basketball and also college baseball. And I remember early in the baseball season, you know, I played shortstop, third base sometimes, and I also pitched. And, uh, you know, as a pitcher, I was, I was pretty good. I'm about six, four. I could throw pretty hard. Um, and one day the pitching coach came over to me and he says, uh, he says, your, um, your, your curveball's all right, but it's not great. And it's not that consistent. See, there are three things a great coach does. Three three pictures that a great coach helps make increasingly clear. Number one is reality. Number one is a picture of reality. So often we don't see reality. We see things as we want them to be, as we wish they were. You know, sometimes we th see things better than they are. Sometimes we see things as worse than they are, right? Sometimes things aren't going so well and you're thinking the world is over financially, relationships, career, <sighs> health-wise. You know, a great coach helps you get increasingly clear, get an increasingly clearer picture of reality as it is and my coach said look look your curveball you know it drops this way it goes a little bit to the side sometimes sometimes it moves more sometimes it moves late sometimes it moves too early you know sometimes it kind of floats sometimes it's nasty you know but it's not it's not a, it's not consistently great picture number one is reality picture number two is what you're chasing he said, you know, what kind of curveball do you want? And he asked me about some pitchers, you know, and he asked me who my favorite pitchers were. And, you know, at the time I said, uh, I said, you know, I, I always liked Doc Gooden, Dwight Gooden, the Mets phenom from the 1980s and into the early 1990s, pitched with the Yankees for a bit then too. And I, I said, I always loved his curveball and it just drops off the table. It's like a 12 to six curveball. He said, okay, all right, all right. He said, any, any other curveballs? And I told him a few other pitchers, and their curveballs were different. They were late and biting, you know, not as big and, and dropping, and they maybe went to the side. He said, oh, okay, so do you want to be able to throw both? <laughs> I said, well, you know, let me think about that. You know, great coaches, first two things, a picture of current reality, right? And a picture of what you're actually chasing. And as I said, it becomes that the great coach helps you make that picture increasingly clear so often we sit down with somebody to, to mentor to coach and um we say this is what i'm chasing maybe but it's not that clear it's fuzzy you know and with this pitching coach for me it wasn't that it was it was fuzzy it was fuzzy i said yeah i'd like that curveball but i kind of like that one too and i don't know he said well is, is there one is there one or, or are there two you know and do you want to be able to throw both you know, and eventually I said, yeah, I'd like to be able to do that late dive off the, the outside left, you know, the outside of the plate to a right hander. And I'd like to be able to do that dropping 12 to six Doc Gooden curveball. OK, OK, we're getting clear. Right. Increasing clarity in reality and in what you're chasing. Right. Where you are and where you want to be. Those two things. And the third area is they give you an increasingly clear picture of a process that actually works to close that gap. You know, this pitching coach said, said, let me, let me look at your, how you hold the ball. And he said, he said, okay, 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 okay. You're ready to throw your curveball. Go, you know, do your, do your movement, do your movement, do your movement, do your movement, do your movement and freeze, do your movement and freeze, do your movement and freeze. And he said, look, look where your fingers are. He said, your fingers are changing slightly. He said, your fingers are not in the same place every time. He said, we need to, I mean, if you want consistent greatness, we probably need consistency in the process. You know, and he said, maybe we need a spot on the ball where this finger is touching. And we mark the ball. We mark the ball in, in those two spots. So the ball's coming back here. Every single time it's here and here, here and here. Not not here and here, sometimes there, sometimes, right? Not not there, sometimes, not a little deeper, sometimes a little shallow, right? Because that changes everything. That little difference in where the ball changes the whole process, right? Consistent, increasing clarity 
in reality, in future, and in a process that actually works. Then he said, okay, work on this, work on this. Hold the ball in your hand, and I want you to be able to do this, do this. Get it to fly out of your hand with this, this quick snap, this quick snap. He said, I want you holding the ball, the same exact spot every single time, and snapping it, and snapping it, and snapping it, and snapping it, and snapping it. And I want it popping up in the air with this wicked spin on it. You know, today we, we'd probably use rotation, right? We, we, we have a measurement of the, the, the revolutions, right? Spin rate, they call it, if you watch uh, the World Series. The spin rate of that ball was. But three things great coaches give you. Three things. Increasing clarity in a picture of current reality, of what you're chasing, and a process that actually works for you to get there. See, most of the time we don't need 10 steps. We don't need a, you know, a, a two or three or 400 page book on a process. We don't need a, a four month course on something. We need the one thing, the one thing in our world right now that will make a big impact. How you hold the ball, how you snap it, how you hold the ball, how you snap it, how you hold the ball. How you snap it. He could have given me, read this book about pitching. He could have given me videos about pitching. He could have given me a whole like 15 steps about pitching. But we didn't work on where my pivot, my, my feet were, or my hips, or my knees, or my, my shoulders. We worked on two things. Actually, one thing for a little while, and then a second thing for a little while. Great coaches help us get a clear picture in those three areas.